What's up, guys? I hope you guys are having a good pre-election day. It's your boy, the DMD. And uh, today I wanted to give you guys a quick tournament report of my locals on Friday that I went to. Playing Zodiac, obviously, as you can tell from the title of this video and, well, the deck presented before you. I did pretty well. Uh, I went three and one. Uh, I feel like I could have potentially not done any better. The one that I lost, I just got destroyed by PK Orcus, but my matchups were Dinosaurs, Adamancipators, Heroes, and PK Orcus. Not in that order. I'll break down the rounds later, but first I really quickly wanted to go through and talk about the cards that I played and the card decisions that I made. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the main deck. Uh, I'm not going to go too in-depth with the card choices because you've probably seen my profile and know why I play what I play. Uh, the one rat, the three copies of Thoroughblade, the three copies of Ram Ram, and then the three copies of Whiptail. Uh, I cut Cataroost because I wanted to have more space for more hand traps. Uh, so, in order to make space for those hand traps, I did have to cut down Cataroos from the list. Although, it's not really, I didn't really miss it, being honest. Uh, it, was, it was fine the way it was. Uh, I was able to get to zoos, you know, as consistently as I was before. It was just that one extra zoo that was, you know, not there. But for the hand traps, which we play 11 of, three Ash Blossom, three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, two copies of DD Crow, and three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Uh, these were great, um, DD Crow especially. Uh, Imperm was, well, Imperm. Ogre was okay, probably the worst of the four, but it was, it was fine, and then Ash was, you know, what it was. Uh, then for the spells, of course, the three Tanky, the one Barrage, three copies of the first of the two pots, that being Pot of Deserves, and then to Avarice. For the trap cards, of which there are many, in addition to Imperm, Strike, Goes and Match, one copy of Combo. I cut out a con an extra Combo because I just wanted the room for the DD Crows. Two copies of Ice Dragon's Prison, Debating on playing a third of this, but I feel like it would be kind of redundant with the DD Crows and the Ice Dragons Prison, so I'm not really sure if I want to play the third. I go back and forth on it. And then the one order. That rounds off the main deck for the extra deck. Trident, duh. To Borbo, um, probably need to play a third of this. This did actually come up in some of the later rounds, but... I would just have to get another, I could just easily like cut a copy of Hammer Kong, which I'm playing three, I'll show that in a minute. Uh, for the third Borbo, I think that's probably much better, it's probably correct. Three Chocanine, three copies of Tiger Mortar, the three copies, which should be two copies of Hammer Kong, uh, then one IP Mask Arena and the one Nightmare or Unicorn, I mean. Um, so the theory with this is, if you need more disruption than just Trident, what you can do instead of doing the standard Megaclops play is you can do, like you're going to do the normal Megaclops play uh, with Rat Pier, but if you have Whip Tail on hand, what you can do is put a material under the Trident. So you can put your three XYZs on board through utilizing Ram Ram and Trident to pop the Ram Ram and then reborn the Chalkanine and then put a material under chalk and on with the tiger mortar, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can instead make Mascarena with the chalk and on, on field and the other XYZ material that you used or to summon back off of chalk and on, probably tiger mortar. You can use the chalk and on and the tiger mortar to make IP Mascarena and then use Dryden and the Mascarena to make unicorn on your opponent's turn. So you have a pop uh, with Dryden, assuming you have a whip tail to equip to it. Uh, that's just a theory. Uh, it didn't come up. 
Um, but in case you need like more than one pop or more than one disruption, that option in theory is there. Probably not gonna ever come up, but it is there for like options. Um, one Megaclops to absolutely body the dinosaur matchup because they seriously have no out to this. Speaking of dinosaurs, um, three copies of, in the side deck of course, three copies of Lancia, uh, one copy of Pankertops. This probably needs to be a third Twin Twisters, but I was just testing out uh, the one Pankertops uh, to go along with the two Twin Twisters. That didn't come up because I didn't really play any back row decks. So that was, you know, whatever. Um, three copies of Dark Ruler No More. This only came up like once or twice because I didn't end up playing that many combo decks. Uh, three copies of Evenly. This came up a couple times. And then three copies of Judgment. Uh, this came in every time I was going first, game three or so. So that's pretty much it. So I also wanted to just kind of go over in a little bit of depth, some of my rounds uh, from the tournament. Uh, like I said earlier, it was a 22 person tournament, or I thought I said it earlier, but it was a 22 person tournament, uh, not the biggest of tournaments. It was a sizable locals, uh, but you know, given the constraints of COVID, I'm kind of glad that it wasn't any more than that, just because I didn't want to run the risk of getting sick or anything. Uh, I ended up coming third place and I went 3-1, uh, which I did okay. I would have really liked to have won the fourth round that I played, but I got absolutely bodied. Uh, for those of you doing math, it probably was supposed to be five rounds instead of four because there were 22 people. Uh, but after round four, it was already 11.45 and many of us just decided to cut to top four because we didn't really care that much uh, at that point about playing another round because it would have been well after 12.30 by the time we got done with our fifth round. Uh, so round one was Masked Heroes. Um, I ended up getting that match 2-0. Um, game one, I flooded him out of the game with goes and match and uh, just tried it in general. He couldn't really deal with, uh, because that deck has like 90 different attributes uh, in terms of like Liquid Man and Solid Soldier and Shadow Mist, all being Water, Earth, and Dark respectively. Uh, it can't really play around goes and match that well, so that was pretty much game one. Uh, game two, uh, he made me go first because, of course, he's playing heroes. Uh, so I made Dryden and I had four hand traps. I had Impermanence, Crow, Ash, and Ogre. So I opened, like, everything imaginable. Uh, so I pretty much just made sure he wasn't able to play the game. Uh, so that was pretty much the end of round one. Uh, round two, I played against my buddy Lawrence. He was on Ad Emancipator, um, which still has the ability to go second and just put up a lot of damage, not necessarily like 90 negates. If you're going second, you don't want to put up negates. You want to put up damage. And I was able to kind of grind him out in combination with Goes and Match and Strike and some hand traps like Ash Blossom on Needle Fiber and stuff like that. So was kind of really able to just snowball from there. Um, game two, he went first and established like three negates with both his in deck engine and then he made Verte Anaconda because I kind of started hand trapping him and then I had no hand trap for the Verte Anaconda because I impermed him earlier in the turn. Uh, that cost me the game. That was just a sheer misstep that I impermed too early instead of saving it for the Verte Anaconda, which just completely cost me the game because this deck cannot out Dragoon whatsoever. So that costed me game two. Game three, I went first and I opened hand traps. So I think like a strike. Um, and Dryden, of course, and that was kind of enough to where he couldn't really push through because I had like three hand traps in hand. 
So I was able to just kind of uh, snowball. I think it came down to like the last little bit of time and then time was called and I had the life point lead. So I ended up taking that match. Round three uh, was against Dinosaur. <sighs> Man, that was a grind fest. Man, I tell you what. Uh, he OTK'd me game one uh, through disruption and everything, or he got to the point where he could kill me. Um, game two, uh, I opened um, Imperial Order, and I just kind of grinded him out until he didn't have any way to do anything um, because I made Megaclops. Uh, Megaclops auto wins the dinosaur matchup, in case you weren't aware. Um, anything that can't be destroyed by battle and it's 4K, UCT can't deal with it. So it's just kind of like I was able to take that. Um, and then game three, I happened to negate a card with Imperm, uh, and he accidentally activated a double evolution pill in the Imperm column, and I called him on it, and he lost the game as a result of that because he couldn't summon UCT from the deck. Uh, and that really, really, really hurt because then I was just able to make Mega Clops because he couldn't beat over my Dryden and I think I had like Hammer Kong on the board. So next turn I just made Mega Clops and just he couldn't out the Mega Clops. And then Ton was called and I had the light point lead. After that was round four um, against Machina Orcus. I got blown out so bad. It was, it was rough. Orcus is not a joke. Like, that deck has like 90,000 extenders. Um, game one, I opened Ash, Imperm, DD Crow, Dryden, and I think like a Ghost Ogre. He played through all of it and cleared my Dryden and ended on two Fog Blades. Like, like you got it, dog. Um, so yeah, he, he then, like, I tried to do something the following turn and he just fog bladed my stuff and I just, I couldn't do anything. I tried Dryden Ding, uh, but he had a Dragoon Negate as well on top of the fog blades. I know, right? So that was pretty much it. Um, game two, I sided in Lancia's and... I had DD Crows, so I was like, okay, let me see if I can just kind of stop him from playing the game, you know, but he, again, I had several hand traps in hand and he just played through everything and made his board. I couldn't do anything. I tried to set up as many negates as possible, but like there was just nothing I could do. Uh, he just, he was he was a very experienced player clearly and he just just outplayed me like there was just nothing i could uh nothing i could do but uh it was it was fun i enjoyed it i wasn't a big fan of getting smacked but it was funny i was telling my buddy lawrence uh after like round three i was like i'm doing really good i'm 3-0 but i have a feeling that karma is gonna get me back and i'm just gonna get bodied in round four uh, which did end up happening, oddly enough. So yeah, that's pretty much it for how the tournament went. I was really happy. I ended up pulling a, uh, I got like four or five OTS packs and I ended up pulling an ulti super poly. Uh, so I was like really, really ecstatic after the whole thing. I didn't end up getting home till like 1230 and I'm so like dead today uh, because, uh, locals is like 45 minutes from my house, like one way. So I had to drive from like 1135 to 1220 at night to get home. So that wasn't the most fun I've ever had, but overall it was a really fun experience, you know, but, uh, any rate guys, uh, this is just my weekly tournament report. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, if you would like to, please leave a like or a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, it's me, it's me, it's that DMD, and your boy is out. Ooh.